to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into another top five list for you guys. I think tomorrow we may have a new ranking video as well, so that should be pretty good. We should rank Elite Series, what, 11 through 15 or something like that. We break down all the figures, tell them if you should go buy them or not or whatever the case is. But today, guys, if you missed it, I think it was last week or the week before, we did cover my top five favorite things that I love about WWE figure collecting or the five things I love about WWE figure collecting and all the things that are about this hobby and you know about the community and all of those different things so if you guys missed out on that video definitely go check that out before you watch the things about this video which is going to be five things that I dislike or don't like or hate about WWE figure collecting you know some things that get on my nerves or some things that I'm just like god in heaven why so, you know, we're going to dive into it today. We'll get through all the mess. We'll dive into it. I'll tell you guys everything. I don't think this is in a particular order per se, but these are some things that, you know, that I, I, I tried to give it some time and kind of simmer on it. Tried to come up with my top five or at least five things. Again, not in any particular order, but we're going to dive into it here today, guys. Five things that I hate about WWE figure collecting. So let's just go ahead and start off, right? Let's dive into number five. Number five, I'm going to go with Aftermarket. All right, so you guys know as well as I do, we get a brand new figure, right? Uh, just say Drew McIntyre. We get his first time in the line figure or a figure that, you know, he, he came in Elite 9, but we didn't get another Drew McIntyre for a very long time. When his updated figure came out, and then if you missed the pre-order, if you missed the first wave that hit retail, if you missed out on those couple times, his figure shot up to like $70, $80 mock, which is just like... <laughs> almost choked on nothing which is just kind of crazy like the aftermarket for the wwe action figures is just insane like just a figure will be like 20 dollars, and then you'll blink a week goes by and for some reason the market has it at like 80 dollars. why why does that happen i don't know the the wwe figure market is so weird especially the aftermarket it goes up and down it's like it's like insane it's literally like stocks and all kinds of crap man i know supply and demand is obviously the reason for it but a figure's demand will just shoot up for the crazy reasons or like it's just insane it's just insane i know anybody that's actually looked into the aftermarket of wwe figures you know if you go on ebay and you try to find random figures like elite 69 miz until elite 86 miz was just re-released i think that figure was like 70 dollars or something like that it's like wh why what is what is happening so a figure you could literally get at walmart for like 19 21 dollars is like 90 so it's like i don't know man the aftermarket's insane and it's one of those things that it's it's like that in every hobby pretty much but it does it, it takes its Told, man it's one of those things that you can never quite scale it's it's one of the things that's hard to figure out especially when starting off but i wanted to mention the aftermarket you guys let me know what the craziest aftermarket price you've seen is coming in at number four guys i'm gonna go with quality control how many times have you went out you've been looking for a figure so damn long you go into the store what happens, Brad? You take it home, you get home, you take your X-Acto knife or whatever, maybe you just shred the box open, you cut it open, you take the figure out, and his his shoulder just wobbles back and forth. No tightness whatsoever. The ab crunch is loosey-goosey, Brad. The, the forehead is massive. The eyes are misprinted, things like that. Okay, to be fair with you, if you looked at a figure on the shelf, you need to inspect it. Like, don't just say, oh my god, that's, you know, that's Elite 86 Seth Rollins, and then examine it, man. I know it may be the only one there and you make a head swap it or do some things with it but be sure to examine your figures it's very important when you find a figure at retail get it examine the face examine the paint apps examine these things so you don't mess it up i mean if you're a mock collector especially you know if you're going to be taking it out and playing with it a little bit posing around switching the head switching the arms things like that i guess it doesn't matter as much but if you're going to leave that thing mock man you want to make sure that you don't have any misprints or any crazy stuff going on but quality control is a big concern you know misprints and crazy things that goes for aew figures as well man that is something that drives me up the wall is the quality control coming in number three guys i'm gonna go with basic figures now to be honest with you basic figures they have their 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 market they have their place in wwe figure collecting but i think since they switched the arm articulation and since they switched like some of the articulation and like i, I don't know anybody that buys basics nowadays you know how it is like they're basically statues like unless you want to use the knee pads and the head sculpt you really don't have a reason to buy basics and and I don't know, they're just very annoying. Like the posing is insane. Anybody that pick feds with them, you guys are just national heroes. I don't know how you do it. I could never do it. I don't know if I've ever used a basic.
basic in a pick fed maybe to like maybe for like a you know like a general manager or an announcer or a commentator or something like that but I cannot do poses with a man like I don't know what it is I can barely do them with elites there's no way that I can do a full-fledged you know matchup or an MDT matchup with a basic figure there's just no way bro there's no way and basic figures are just I don't know you ever just get annoyed with them like you'll go to the store and there's just like 76 of the same basic and you're like these will be here for three Christmases you know and it's just like God in heaven I saw the other day I'll pull up the image if I can dude went to Walmart there was 30 something Alexa Blisses in the general manager suit those will rock there for eternity I don't know who's gonna buy all those and it's the one I think with like the terrible head sculpt so I don't know man not a good look there basics just get on my nose I walk in there and I see six top talents bronze eight top talents Cena's four top talents rocks six top talents Roman Reigns I'm just like get me the hell out of here Brad there's no elites on there and it's just I did get out of my face the basics suck which speaking of which guys is going to transition me into the number two thing which is going to be figures not being at retail man like you go to retail right I, I go to my Walmart and Target at least like once a week like at least at least once a week you know grocery shop take care of some things and just you know every time I go I might as well check the figures because you never know and people always wonder MDT why don't you toy hunt well Brad it's because there's nothing there most of the time right you go down the aisle and there's nothing there and when they do have something there it's I've already missed out the other day like actually the other day I went to Target they had unrivaled series 4 series 4 they had Matt Hardy I think Santana and Guevara they had Sammy Guevara and Kenny was missing uh Ortiz was missing and I can't even remember the last figure in the set my mind's gone blank and Cody was missing that's it Cody was missing and it's like yes that's very awesome that I found those but three of them were missing uh every time I find a new elite wave like I found elite 83 edge was missing elite 82 Finn and Keith Lee were missing so it's like even when I do find something or a new wave the figures that I really like from the wave are gone and I think there's like this loophole where like okay so the distribution of the figures is terrible to begin with but I think we've entered a thing where they finally get out to stores and when people find them they just buy everything because they're like oh my god if I don't buy everything I'll miss out on everything and so you kind of enter this loop where it kind of repeats itself right okay they have stuff I buy everything then nobody else has anything and I'll wait and wait and wait until they come back and then when they finally do restock it's one wave again they'll buy them all out it's just this endless cycle of just garbage and the distribution is just a whole nother aspect of it where it's just like so yeah, figures at retail, man. I think everybody can relate to that one. And coming at number one, guys, this really isn't number one. Again, these could be in any order. This is just five things off the top of my dome that, you know, get on my last John Brown nerve about collecting. But number one is lack of ruthless aggression era figures. And I think... I don't think, you know, if you've watched wrestling in the last 10, 15 years, you probably can't relate to this as much because, you know, you, you like, I feel like we've gotten a pretty good amount, but the amount of figures from the year 2000 to around 2005, like I know we've gotten later years and I know we've gotten here and there and stuff like that, but the lack of like long pants Shawn Michaels and like 2003 era is Shawn Michaels and we didn't get a ton, like there's so many looks of so many different guys. I made a post on Instagram plugging all the different looks looks of superstars we could get. Superstars that are like lifers, like guys that will be around for like John Cena. You got Randy Orton. You got HBK. You got Undertaker. You got Triple H. There's so many attires and moments through those years of the Ruthless Aggression Era that we have not gotten in figure form that drives me up the wall. Shelton Benjamin, another guy that's on roster. Bobby Lashley's another guy on roster. I know we've kind of gotten pretty much all his looks up until his new figure that's coming very soon, which should be announced very soon, but the fact that there's just... So, I think I made like it was like at least 30 something figures I think and I'll plug it I've already probably plugged in the images but it's like the still shots of those moments that we have not gotten just yet so there's a lot of ruthless aggression moments out there that we have not gotten and it drives me up the John Brown wall man Jeff Hardy another guy on uh, another guy that we could have gotten you know he's still in the company we need ruthless aggression figures before he leaves and goes to AEW with Matt but I think that does it for my top five things that I don't like or that I hate about WWE figure collecting so I think I'm gonna get out of here but before I do that guys let's get into our random shout out i apologize for the no upload yesterday and on friday we actually had some medical stuff going on all is well though and this shout out is actually going to go to bubby 11 who says when i saw the thumbnail i thought you found the moxley and mjf in store and brad let me tell you if i would have found the chase moxley and mjf in the same store that would have been a banger vlog video i would have absolutely made a video about that you would have like it would have been insane aew figure toy hunt or something like that 
that. I would have definitely made a huge, huge deal out of that, and you guys absolutely would have known that. But huge shout out to Bubby for that comment. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. What are some things that you dislike or that you hate about WWE figure collecting or that, you know, you'd change or whatever? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much does it. But before we get out of here, guys, uh, don't cross the line like WWE figure collecting likes to do sometimes.